Good day, dear grade 8 learners. In today's video, we are going to learn factoring perfect square trinomial. Here's what you need. Something to write on, a notebook or a paper. And something to write with, a pen or a pencil. To maximize your learning, you could pause and replay this video as needed. Now brace yourself to another dose of mathematical prowess as Depid Cebu City Mathematics 8, Quarter 1, Module 1, Factoring, Lesson 4, Factoring, Perfect Square Trinomial is going to play. Are you ready? Here is what you need to know. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to define a perfect square trinomial and factor the perfect square trinomial completely. Now, what's in? Recall that 1 squared is equal to 1 and the square root of 1 is 1. 2 squared is equal to 4 and the square root of 4 is 2. 3 squared is equal to 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. 4 squared is equal to 16, and the square root of 16 is 4. 5 squared is equal to 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. 6 squared is equal to 36, and the square root of 36 is 6. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 are square roots of 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and 36, respectively. What's new? Which do you think is a perfect square trinomial? Is it A, x squared plus 2y plus 4? Or B, x squared plus 4y plus 4. That is what we are going to learn today. So, keep on watching to find out. So, what is it? You have learned that the quantity of y plus 2 squared is equal to y squared plus 4y plus 4 by FOIL method. Here it is. FOIL method, first term, y times y is equal to y squared. Outer terms, y times 2 is 2y. Inner terms, 2 times y is 2y. And last terms, 2 times 2 is 4. Combining like terms, y squared plus 4y plus 4. The reverse of the square of a binomial is what we call the perfect square trinomial. Now, what is a perfect square trinomial once again? It is the result of squaring a binomial. A perfect square trinomial has first and last terms, which are perfect squares, and the middle term, which is twice the product of the first and the last terms, square roots. All right, so let us solidify our knowledge on this. Let's try the examples. But before that, to factor a perfect square trinomial, we have to first get the square root of the first term and the second term. And then, list down the square root as sum or difference of two terms as the case may be. You can follow these relationships to factor perfect square trinomials. First relationship is when the first sign is a positive. And therefore, you should have positives or additions. So, x squared plus 4xy plus y squared is equal to the quantity of x plus y times the quantity of x plus y. Or, the quantity of x plus y now, 
when the first operator is subtraction, then you would also have subtraction for your binomial or for your square of a binomial. So, what does that mean? x squared minus 4xy plus y squared. Then you will have the quantity of x minus y times the quantity of x minus y or the quantity of x minus y squared. Now let's move on to our examples. Number 1. Factor x squared plus 12x plus 36. Step number 1. Get the square root of the first and the last term. Step number 2. List the square roots as the sum or difference of two terms. Now, what is our first operator? You got it! It is addition. And therefore, our square of a binomial should also be an addition. Bravo! Let's go to example number 2. Factor out 49a squared minus 14ab plus b squared. Again, step 1. You are right. Get the square root of the first and the last term. Step 2. List the square roots as the sum or difference of two terms. Now tell me, what is the operator here? This one? You are correct. It is subtraction. And therefore, your square of a binomial should also be a subtraction. Good job, guys. Now let's go to example number three. Note that if it is possible, please apply factoring of common monomials. So let's have 3x squared minus 18xy plus 27y squared. And their common monomial factor is? That is right, it is 3. So 3 times the quantity of x squared minus 6xy plus y squared. And then we are going to get the square root of the first and the last term, which are x and 3 respectively. And then again, since this is a subtraction, and so your square of a binomial should also be a subtraction. Again, guys, you can play and pause and pause and play this video as needed. Now, what's more? Answer the activity below to solidify your understanding and skills of the topic. Always remember to follow the steps for you to arrive at the correct answer. Activity 1.4 has two sets. Set number one, supply the missing term to make a true statement. Apply your knowledge in factoring perfect square trinomial. Number one, x squared plus 12x plus 36. You provide the second term. Number two, a squared b squared minus 6 a, B, C plus 9C squared. Again, supply the second term. Number 3, P squared plus 14P plus 49 is equal to? Supply the first term. Number 4, 16M squared plus 8M plus 1. Supply the second term. And number 5, 50P squared plus 222P plus 242. Supply your binomial. Again, do not forget your common monomial factors. Set number two, factor each expression completely. Now you have five numbers to factor out. Again, do not forget your common monomial factors. Factor them out before you apply your knowledge in factoring perfect square trinomials. And please submit your work on time. Can I count on you? Yay! Thank you very much for the thumbs up. Now here is what you need to remember. To identify a perfect square trinomial, the first term must be a perfect square. 
the last term must also be a perfect square. And the middle term must be twice the product of your first and your last term. That's it! That's the end of lesson 4. In times of profound change, the learners inherit the earth, while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. This is your teacher, Miss Mary Kate. When you cease to learn, you cease to be essential. Learn your way up and have a bountiful day.